All right, uh, let's look at the homework um, 8.3, problem number 9. And we want to find the moments uh, x, uh, m sub x and uh, m sub y, and the center of mass of this uh, given uh, lamina. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so uh, let's see. We want to find, uh, you know, the moment with respect to the x-axis. Uh, so why don't we do that first? All right, so what we need to do is, I guess we have to know the equation, right? So here, that this top equation is y equals uh, square root of, uh, radius is 1, uh, minus x squared, right? Just a top semicircle. All right, so this one is just a straight line, and this is going to be, so slope is 1, so x, and the y-intercept is negative 1. So those are fairly easy to come up with equation. All right, so let's find the um, m sub x. So m sub x is going to be equal to, all right, uh, it's going to be rho, which is going to be 3, over, so 1 half is part of the, you know, the formula, and then integrate it from 0 to 1, because it starts from here and ends there, all right? Then we have to uh, square the top one, so it's going to be, uh, square root is gone, so we have a 1 minus x squared, right, uh, minus square this guy. So we have um, um, x minus 1 squared, so I'm going to go ahead x, uh, I'm going to go ahead and square this, x squared minus 2x uh, plus 1, right, then with respect to x, right. All right, so uh, then uh, let's clean it up a little bit. Um, so we're going to have, uh, this is going to be, right, 3 halves is there, uh, integral from 0 to 1. All right, so uh, collect the x squared term. So it looks like we have, um, uh, there's a negative x squared and a minus x squared. So there's uh, two of them. So minus 2x squared. All right, then the x term is negative, negative 2, so it's going to be plus 2x. All right, so that takes care of uh, this guy. And then you have, actually, these are canceled out, 1 minus 1, so that's gone. So we have that. And actually, so we can uh, simplify this by uh, distributing 1 half, so you can get rid of 2 here and 2 there, and the 2 cancel out. All right, so you're going to get, uh, let's see, 3 is there in front. All right, antiderivative of negative x, x squared would be negative x cubed over 3. And antiderivative of x is uh, x squared over 2. Then we're going from uh, 0 to 1. All right, so this is going to be 3 times. I right, plug in 1, so it's going to be negative 1 third and plus uh, 1 half. All right, so that's going to be 1 sixth times 3, so this is going to be 1 half. All right, so that's uh, mx. Uh, so um, we found the value here. So let's type it in just to make sure that we got the right value. All right, so we got uh, 1 half there. All right. Uh, submit for testing. All right, it came back and we got uh, m sub x correctly. All right, so let's do uh, m sub y next. So m sub y, all right, is going to be, all right, rho, which is 3. Then we're going to do our uh, integral from 0 to 1, all right, x times, so x times, and the top guy is a square root of, 1 minus x squared minus the bottom guy is just uh, x minus 1. All right, then with respect to x. All right, so we have that. Then uh, I think we're going to need to uh, split this into two integrals. So uh, you have uh, three times uh, integral, all right, uh, 0 to 1. All right, so this is going to be uh, x times square root of uh, 1 minus x squared dx. So let's do that for, uh, separately. 
and then you're going to have a negative 3 uh, integral from, so you have to um, distribute the x, so you have uh, x squared, all right, then you have uh, minus a negative x, all right, so 0 to 1 dx. All right, then I'm going to do a, a little bit of adjusting here. So, uh, so derivative of 1 minus x squared, so it's going to be negative 2x. So it would be nice if I have negative 2x here. So I'm going to just uh, divide by uh, negative 2 so that uh, it has that. And then um, uh, I'm, not, I'm going to rewrite this guy as, uh, instead of a uh, square root, I'm going to write it as a 1 half power. How about that? All right, then uh, we can just use the general power rule to find the antiderivative here. So here you have negative uh, 3 halves is there. All right, antiderivative of this is uh, take add 1 to the power, so uh, 1 minus x squared. So this is going to be 3 halves power. Then you would have to divide by 3 halves, so switch the same thing as multiply by 2 thirds. All right then uh, you're going from 0 to 1. So you have, I'm going to just go from 0 to 1. And we can actually clean up quite a bit. So it's a 2 and 2 cancel out, 3 and 3 cancel out. Only thing left is the negative sign there. All right? Then here you have negative 3. Antiderivative of that would be x to the uh, uh, x cubed over 3 minus uh, x squared over 2. Then you're going from 0 to 1. All right. So let's evaluate. I right, have negative. If you plug in 1, you get 0. Minus. If you plug in 0, you get 1. All right. Minus 3 times. If you plug in 1, you get the 1 third. Minus. Plug in 1, 1 half. All right. And then if you plug in 0, it's 0. So I'm not going to write anything down. So you're going to get that this is 1, positive 1. All right, so this is going to be negative 1 6. So it's going to be plus uh, 1 half. All right, so it's going to be 3 halves. All right, so this is the uh, value for m sub y. All right, so let's type it in. All right, we got uh, 3 halves. All right, uh, let's uh, submit for testing. All right, it came back, and we got this one correctly. All right, then we just need to find the uh, x bar and the y bar. All right, so we just need to do uh, to find the x bar. You just need to take um, uh, moments with respect to y and divide by the uh, total uh, total mass. All right, so uh, here we have uh, three halves is the uh, moments with respect to the y-axis. All right, total sum, uh, total mass would be, all right, so area is going to be, let's see, this is a quarter of a circle, so pi over 4, because radius is 1. And here it's a 1, uh, basis 1, and height is 1, and so it's a 1 half base times height, so it's 1 half, all right? So area of this region is um, pi over 4 plus uh, 1 half. Uh, we can probably write it as a pi plus 2 over 4. And then if you want the total mass, you just have to multiply it by rho. So rho times a. So it's going to be 3 uh, quantity pi plus 2 over 4. All right. So we just have to divide by that. So it's a 3 and pi plus 2 over 4. So you can cancel a 3 on top and 3 on the bottom. Then we can multiply top and bottom by 4. Then you can cancel those and then cancel those. So you get 2. So you get um, 2 over uh, pi plus 2 for x bar. And uh, y bar would be uh, moments uh, with respect to the x-axis divided by m, right? 
So uh, only difference is uh, uh, m sub x is one half, and uh, we're dividing by uh, three pi plus two over four. So we're gonna get um, uh, multiply by four, All right? So we'll cancel out and cancel out two. So you're gonna get the two over uh, three times pi plus two. All right, so let's uh, type these guys in. All right, so we got uh, x bar. Let's see if I can get this to come up. All right, yep. So it's a 2 over uh, pi plus 2, comma, all right, 2 over 3 times uh, pi plus 2. All right, so let's check the answer. Submit for testing. All right, it came back and looks like we got this one correctly as well. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.